beautiful city of Zimbabwe, Bulawayo. The more I travel within Zimbabwe, the more I find out that Zimbabwe indeed is not what you think. There's so many hidden games in Zimbabwe that I think the people of Zimbabwe need to try their possible best to come out in their numbers to promote their country in a positive way. Listen, I was in Harare and I thought Harare is Zimbabwe. But when I came to Bulawayo, seeing white roads in here, seeing beautiful buildings, even though it's a bit colonial, but yeah, I mean, Coming from Ghana, I never saw Zimbabwe this way until I stepped in here. So I'm just gonna tell you that if you ever have any thought about Zimbabwe, change it right now. Maybe after this video, a lot of people are gonna change your perception about Zimbabwe. It's a beautiful country. I wanna say this once again, God took his time to create Zimbabwe. But sorry, I'm not here to talk about Zimbabwe. I'm here to talk about a retiree born and raised in Bulawayo went to America retired and came back to Bulawayo I mean moving to Africa is a movement I've been telling you guys that it's time for Africans to make Africa home again I know we got our own problems I know Africa is not perfect but it's time for us to tell our own stories and listen I've never met this woman anywhere I don't know her anywhere I just found out about her yesterday when a friend of mine came to visit me and said do you know that this woman living in um, Bulawayo was actually inspired by you to the extent that she's actually helping you do your job which is Africa to the world she's trying in her own way to change the narrative of, about Africa by telling people to come back home by showing you the beautiful stuff that are happening in Zimbabwe and I'm like wow I want to give out uh, a shout out to uh, Wodemaya yay young man you've done you've done us well you've done us good and um because of you i have felt uh, motivated to say hey it's time i bring uh, the narrative as well to let other uh folks my age older younger uh to uh see the african continent with a different lens <laughs> on my way to go meet her and I just can't wait to just give her a hug and say thank you so much for supporting the initiative Africa to the world changing the negative narrative about Africa and making Africa home again I, I mean she's on retirement but I would say that if you are living abroad don't wait for retirement before you come back home come back now and let's build Africa together Is this real? No, it's real. This is what am I? Come on! Go, go, go. I can't, I can't. No, come I can't. on. I can't. I mean, that's how the universe works. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my <laughs> this is unreal. Welcome, no. ho welcome home. Thank you. Come. Thank you so much. Come on, come on. Thank you. What am I? In my house? Yeah. Nah, this is not true. No, it's true. It's a dream. No, it, this is what my. It's not a dream. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe it. Oh, I, 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 I saw it. your video a year ago. Yeah. Saying that you're going back to Africa yeah. to change the narrative. Yeah. And you're inspired by what am I? I, yeah. I was so touched. Even though I didn't see the video. I saw the video just last night. Yeah. And here we are. Here you are. This. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. No, I am You're so in, proud of you. I, I am proud of ah. you. I am proud of you. We've raised you well. Salibonani, Makadi. Hello and welcome to my channel, Kaya's Go Go. My name is Subongile. I'm sharing with you my journey back to the motherland. I have settled back in the city of Kings and Queens. Bulawayo, doing very well and loving it. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. You know? <laughs> I just don't know what to say. But um... I, I, I am moved beyond words that you could uh, 
actually come I mean, and I, see me. As soon as they told me that um, there is this woman who moved from US to mm -hmm. Zimbabwe, I was mm -hmm. like, you know what, I need to meet her. Mm -hmm. And then I spoke to you and you sent me the video and I'm like, no yeah. way, no way. I was just, you know, when you are out there, mm. it, it's, it's kind of, everybody is telling you you're doing the wrong thing. A and you start self-doubting and uh, you start thinking it might be wrong hmm. but then i was i kept on telling myself i was born there I, I was born there and what is what is the biggest fear of me going back, back. missing the, the luxuries mm. maybe but <laughs> nah so but when you, i you, you've created a luxury in here yeah, well, this i mean I, I don't think in america you'd have had this house with the garden back to the garden live again jad I don't think so. I don't think so. This is what they are missing. They don't even know. Yeah. Uh, definitely, yeah. she's growing what she eats in here. Yeah. 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 I have. I'm uh, so proud of you. I. I am I, 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 truly I, 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 inspired I, I, by you. Truly wow. inspired uh, that you would pick up that uh, mental uh, and and show positivity in in this continent. Um, it, it's 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 heartwarming. It is heartwarming, yeah, yeah. Um, we, we need more young people who embrace the continent as it is, with its faults. And uh, the more of us that say, it's okay to be home. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? See, I, I have been seeing what you're doing, and I think um, since Wadaba is here, I've seen that she has over 2,000 subscribers, and um, before I leave here, we are making it 10,000 subscribers. Oh. <laughs> so um, let's do this. You know that me, I don't beg. I always tell you that it's by force because what she's doing, I think uh, I'm here. I'm definitely gonna change some few things before I leave, and I want us to do this. The channel link is in the description. Let's go. We're making sure she hits 10,000 subscribers today. All right. So. <laughs> Go there, subscribe, and be part of um, Kaya's Gogo. Yeah. Well, who is Kaya? Kaya is my first grandchild. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, and Gogo I wanted, means Gogo means grandmother. So I wanted to take Kaya with me. I I used to travel with them, but mm. when I left, I knew you know it would be few and far between the traveling with her. So by carrying her name with me, you know she's she's right there. Yeah. That's beautiful. Uh -huh. How long did you live in America? I was in America for 20... Combined, Canada and America, it was a total of, I think, 25 years? 27? Something like that. Why did you left in the first place? Why did I leave? Yeah. Uh, that gentleman over there <laughs> is the adventurous one. Can, can he join me? <laughs> Travel and I like to see new places. Okay. And I easily get bored of my environment. <laughs> wow. After 25 years, you decided to come back. It was actually a total of 32 years out 32 of the country. Years. Yeah, we, we passed through Botswana and then went to Canada and then the US. But a total. Did you force him to come back? No, <laughs> no. You know, it, no, I no. Nah, it, Mom is here. Yeah, yeah. We, we always knew we were going to come back. Yeah, we but knew. it was, you know, the longer you stay outside, the 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 further that dream uh, becomes. Yeah. And you 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 create a lot of fears for yourself. That's true. Yeah. And and then when it's time to do it, there's always a reason why you can't do it. We yeah. always say that you know how it is when you're outside the country. You read a lot of. Um, of negative things mm. about about Africa in general. Well, what kind of negative things do you? No, I mean about? they they talk about things like uh, more, mostly that like how the economy is, like how the uh, unsafe it is, mm. uh, crime, and you know, and political issues. So you buy into that a lot. But when you visit and when you've lived outside you quickly realize that all those problems that they amplify about Africa, they exist elsewhere too. Yeah. Like, you know, in America they exist, in Canada they exist, in Britain they exist, in Australia they exist. It's just that our scenario as Africans, you know, has been um, 
given by somebody else other than the Africans. So they tend to put a lot of uh, emphasis on negativity. Mm. Well, but when you're here, you see that yes, you've got the, the, uh, the, there's poverty as well. And there's uh, those who have made it live well. Mm -hmm. And nobody talks about the good parts of Africa. Yeah. So that's, 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 so if you stay out there longer, you also join into that uh, mindset yeah. and you never change your signal. Oh, I'm not going back home because all oh, this, all oh, there's that, all oh, there's that, you know. I, I, you know, when you guys were coming, it was COVID time. Yes, yes it was, yes. Right. You kept on pushing. Yes. yes. I think it took you guys seven months. It took us almost eight months, maybe nine months. months. It was yes. the worst time it was, scary. it was scary and there was every opportunity for us to to, no. to stop and say you know what this is not going to work yeah. it was scary the time that i left because i had been in san diego it's difficult to leave this beautiful city called san diego specifically chula vista i've loved living here the beautiful streets that are lined with palm trees just the beauty of the city it is really tough to say goodbye but i'm ready i'm ready for the african continent i'm ready to go and enjoy the long sunny days and the mild winters i love san diego i love the state of california and it is hard for me to say goodbye but it is time so i left right and i was going to see the kids in michigan i was the only person other than the employees in the area that I was sitting at, the lounge that I was sitting at, at the airport. I found myself sitting in an empty airport. It was eerie, it was scary, and I felt alone. And I'm sitting there thinking, where am I going? What am I doing? It was scary. And you know, your mind is telling you, don't do it. But the, the, your heart is telling you, do it now. Let's go. Yeah. That's the yeah. same thing when we traveled from after seeing the kids, we went to Canada mm -hmm. to see our other two kids. It was twin Canada, twin the US. Mm -hmm. So we were three three passengers. Three passengers in the plane. With five crew. <laughs> and five crew. <laughs> all the way from Canada to the US. So it it was a scary time and all you could hear was about death here, death there. So you wonder, uh, is it okay to go down there? when uh, the health system mm -hmm. is poorer than what we're living. Mm -hmm. But guess what? God has other plans. Yeah. More people died there than here. Yeah. So, yeah. You, know, yeah. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate. But, yeah. you, know, you know, those things happen. Yeah. And um, as the plane is going up and up, I look through the window and see the beautiful city of San Diego slowly fade. It is hard to say goodbye. The lovely beaches, my workplace, where I've enjoyed the love and support of my team. I will forever cherish those memories. But my mind is set. I'm on my way to the motherland. We're finally in Zimbabwe, in Bulawayo, beautiful place, enjoying uh, being outdoors in the sun and uh, just listening to the sounds of nature. I, I want to know, after living in the West for that long, how was life in the West? Is it um, the way we from Africa see it to be? Uh, yes, there's the glamorous, glamorous part of it, but there's a lot of, you don't get to enjoy that that much because you're working. You're working. You're working most of the time. Yeah. There, there is really, really like work, 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 especially if you have an agenda to come back. Mm. When you're there, it's work, work, work. Work, work, work Unless, to be able to do, to get the money yes. to do what you want here. Yeah, unless yeah. you want to live there forever, yeah. then that's a different story. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, as you get older, 
there's always this thing is yeah. uh, with home, your yeah. identity. It yeah. sinks in. Yeah. Wow. It yeah. sinks in. You yeah. you start feeling a sense of belonging to be somewhere else yeah. other than where you are. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I, mean, I I know, for example, like in most of Africa, I'm, I'm sure, including Ghana, the respect we have for our elders is different when you're out there. Hmm. Out there. <laughs> 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 Are you trying to say that out there no one respects you? No, uh, it's, no not it's, not it's not the same It's not the same It's not the same way. Yeah. I mean, I, I, you, you know, for example, if you're in a village, right, in, in a, here in Africa, mm. if you, uh, let's say a child is misbehaving, you even as a stranger can tell the child, ah, don't do, don't do that. Yeah. Out yeah. there you can't do that. Yeah. You'll be in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Out there you could be in trouble. Yeah. So and you know, you're not in jail. Yeah. Harassing kids. Yeah. Whereas here we are, we are used to collective, you know, upbringing. Yeah. Like let's say it, it takes a village to raise a child. Yeah. It's yeah. very true here compared to out there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. those things, I mean, they sink in as you grow older. Mm. You're like, oh, I remember my grandparents used to do that, and and you do, you don't find anybody that you can relate to with that same story yeah. unless they are a bigger African community out yeah. there in the West. Yeah. Yeah. At what point both of you decided that it's time to go back home? Um, I have uh, really, really, really had the desire to put the African continent uh, uh, on a very different uh, narrative. Uh, because generally what we hear or see is a, a continent that is poor, a continent full of wars, uh, fighting tribes, hunger, poverty, uh, and anything that, uh, disease, everything that is negative. Uh, however, there is a lot more to the African continent than that very, very, very negative uh, narrative that uh, we've all heard, seen. So this is why I would like to take uh, this time in my retirement to invite you to come along with me. Uh, the conversation was happening. But around 2013, I remember talking to my friend. Yeah. Uh, her name is Rudo. Shout out to her. And Maria. I said, mark my words. 2020, I'm out. Ah, you always say that. You always say that. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember 2013, I said, girls, mm -mm, I'm out. 2020, that is it for me. And when 2020 came, I started having the jitters. You know, am I really serious? Am I gonna do this? Did I, did I mean it? You know, and then COVID is happening. So it was, it was harsh, it was scary. Was the move worth it? Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And then I, I really want to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you know, absolutely. Because I believe that this video will inspire others to also yeah. move back. Yeah. No, it, it, it really, it, it's really uh, worth how, it. How has and life been like since you moved back to the continent? Love, I love being here. I love being home. It, it you know, I, I feel grounded. I feel, it, it, this is where, you know, we have a, a, a saying in Shona, and I've said it before. I wanted to go back to where my umbilical uh, cord is and it's buried here in this country. So despite like today we had a disaster, we don't have water right now because the pipe burst and the city council water is not there. Thank goodness for my tanks, otherwise we wouldn't have no water. The electricity is gone. We can't even test if the repair is done right. <laughs> but I am content. I'm at peace. Despite all the challenges. Despite those challenges. So when we came back, sorry, uh, the, uh, the first 10 days we came when it ah, was a disaster. It was a, it was a baptism <laughs> of fire. No, 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 never, never. There was no water, no electricity. there was no electricity. <laughs> For a good solid 12, maybe 10 to 12 days. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The first time we came here. Yeah. 
it was it was really rough yeah it was it, 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 it as if it was a test yeah to say, can you really handle yeah. it like like it's a it's almost like a test today yeah. to see if i can still tell you that i'm going to stay here <laughs> yes. the water pipe burst unbelievable yeah unbelievable yeah. so you know with with uh with the tank system with the booster and solar that we have Nine out of ten, we never know when, uh, when there's no water. Yeah. Those are some of the th things that when you say, wow, well, how, when you first arrived, uh, how did you cope? And also conveniences, yeah. right? Yeah, conveniences. Those, who, I think, are what hits you the most. Like, mm -hmm. out there, you're like, okay, it's 10 p.m., I want to go and do my groceries because it's quieter in the shops. You just get in your car, go and do your groceries. Out here, everything's closed by 10 p.m. <music> Um, yes. who are not even ready to have this conversation of moving back to the continent. Right. If you have a message to Africans living in the diaspora, what would that message be? I would, I would say visit home more frequently. Yeah. Okay. Because then you won't get uh, a cultural shock, as I like to put it, a cultural shock. Though it shouldn't be because you, you, you are from mm -hmm. Africa. But if you visit more frequently, you get to adapt to the changes. I'll give you an example. When we left, Zimbabwe's economy was doing great. It was one of the best economies in the, in, 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 in the region. In the region. We, you know, you had everything. But imagine somebody who left when we left and, and never, came never come back. back. And now they come back. They're like, what has happened? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you visit home more frequently, get in touch with people at home more frequently. Not just, um, I know the diasporians support the African economy. We a send lot. money a lot. Yeah. So don't just send money, go Come. and see what your money is doing, mm -hmm. especially with your family. Mm -hmm. If you visit more frequently, you will want to come back. Yeah, I, 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 I also say the that. same thing. Come and visit. Yeah. Come and stay longer than a, than a week, two, two week no, visit. It doesn't do you justice. See how people live yeah. here. There are differences. You won't yeah. find the conveniences, yeah. but there is life here. People are happy. I'm content. I'm, yeah. I'm happy being here. So visit. Yeah. You are here in Zimbabwe right now. Mm -hmm. If you had a chance to change one thing in Zimbabwe, what would it be? If anything would be to have Zimbabweans understand that only you can make the changes that you want. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that we know what's out there. We want what's out there, but you can do it here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I would say for Zimbabweans, we can do better. Yeah. We can work together Working to together make this too. place uh, the best it can be. The best is yet to come for this, for this country and but, we can do it but, ourselves. The way you said only Zimbabweans can solve Zimbabwe's problem, yeah. that's what you mean. But I was also doing research about the number of Zimbabweans living in the diaspora. There's a lot of Zimbabweans oh, living in the way too many. Yeah, they are. <laughs> way too many. Uh -huh. Way too many. What, what is the problem? The problem is, like, like we always say that, you know, we, we, one, one thing which I, I see in most, especially in this region, compared to West Africa, for instance, mm. West Africans have learned to be to work together when they are out there as diasporians. They do work together. We we appear to be very individualistic in Zimbabwe. Mm. And also, you know, the, the the honest fact is, we also need to fix the politics so that it makes it comfortable for all Zimbabweans of different. Mm beliefs to, to be here to, yeah. we shouldn't be killing each other or fighting each other we should look at different ideas from different uh, uh backgrounds and thinking put it together so we can grow something our better our differences make us stronger our differences make us stronger uh, now that you all have lived in different part of the world do you think the system in African countries is discouraging the diaspora from moving back to the continent? Uh, partly, yes. Partly, yes. Uh -huh. To be honest, partly, yes. I, th I think um, you do get a lot of resistance from the 
from the, um, the status quo. They one thing, those who are making it, one mm. things to remain the same. When I look at it, I say, okay, it's fine. Okay, I can have this, right? I have this. But am I comfortable? Am I happy when I step out of my comfort zone? I go to the market and I see other people suffering. Mm. Mm -hmm. Obviously not. <laughs> Obviously not. So uh, that that that's the kind of thing that that you know I I would like to see change. And I think most diasporans also might want to want that change. Mm. And I think yeah. also if if the diaspora is is seen uh, is part of this continent we are children of this continent we are not only there to uh um in shona we say kujega jega <laughs> you know supporting our families yeah. but we are children of this continent so our our ideas matter hmm. our input should matter so if that would be embraced uh, by the comp continent at large, mm. that the diaspora, the people in this continent, we work together to bring something bigger and better. I think um, African leaders should be ready for um, these conversations because I lived in China before. Yeah. And China was built by the diaspora. Yeah. 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 They just went out there, learned new things, came back to their country, yeah. and applied it. Yeah. Yes, that's, mean, a, that's a key thing, applying it. it yeah. If you see what um, the fast speed train in China, they got the idea from Japan. Mm -hmm. And even they have better trains than, than Japan, Japan now. Mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think mm -hmm. African leaders need to come and understand that people living in the diaspora are exposed. Yeah. And they can come in here, let's and work together, yes. contribute, yes. and then build the yeah. continent that exactly. we're all looking for. Yeah. Exactly that. And, yeah. and also, you know, Letting young minds uh, like yes, you guys, yes, 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 you know, yes, yes. take the reins and and, 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 and keep mo keep the continent moving yeah. forward. I think I think the older generation don't believe in us. We should. No, but, but, but we should. But, but I, I think that that's the that's, that's the downfall of our societies. Not embracing our young young people. Yeah, I mean, here's here's a good uh, example of what a young per person and their idea can do to an older person. You moved me to have the courage to say I can do it. That's my kid, that's my son, that's my grandson. He's pushing the continent forward by telling the good stories. Get up and do your part. I got out because of a young mind. That's what we should be embracing, young minds. Older person yeah. who's, who's mm -hmm. let's say 70, 70 years old, doesn't even know how, what, what, uh, how, how, how to handle a camera, a digital camera. No, no, they don't. So why should we, why should that person be minister of technology? So this is what. I do. <laughs> So this is oh, what we... Oh, oh. I just left. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's like Minister for Sports cannot kick a ball. Can't kick a ball. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. So we should let young people start taking over. Start taking over. Mm. Because we'll never make it if we, if we keep the status quo. You know? We, should, we will never make it. It's, it's, it's plain clear. We will never make it. We need to embrace our, our children. By not embracing our children, it's because it, it says one thing. We failed to bring up our children to be what they should be. We have no confidence in you. Because, Picking because, up because the we have failed to, to, to build it up. You know, We should have confidence. I should, I, should, I should be able to say, my son can do A, B, C, D because I taught him. If I didn't teach him, then it's my fault. If I don't trust, if I don't have confidence in him, it's because I didn't teach him. So I'm the one that's failed. So that's how these leaders should be looking at these things. So okay, if we can't get our, our child to, to yeah, here you are. If we can say, okay, let him go and set up a broadcasting station, then what does that say? It means we failed, we failed you. So we, sh we as, as, as the older generation, we should be able to, to have confidence in our children. If we don't have that confidence, it's because we are the failures. We are the, we are the ones failing the system. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> so 
here's what I was trying to put across to the world at large. Diaspora, people here in, at home, I, I, different cultures. Mm. I am African, I am Zimbabwean, I am comfortable going back home because I can. And when I'm there, I'm able to have a life. I'm able to be comfortable. I'm able to make it work in the worst of circumstances. I just told you about our water wars and, uh, uh, and the electricity, uh, but I'm still here. I have uh, firewood We have dying trees here that are not helping me, neither are they doing anything to the environment. So we use those when the electricity is not there. I have a kitchen there which has a, 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 an old, what is called a Dover stove that I can use and I can cook. I, I would love to see the hospitals a little bit better, but that fear of there is no health care would not deter me from coming here. Mm -hmm. The public transportation can be a little bit better, but I have no problem jumping into the back of a, of a, in, in the tr trunk of a car yeah. to get, get to where I want to go. It is possible, it is doable. So I, whenever I travel, like I go to different places, I try and show, especially the people that have left, mm. this is the place you left. It's still there, it still looks beautiful. Also to attract other people who might want to come to the continent to yeah. visit it, mm -hmm. or even to settle. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing. The new tourism ambassador for Zimbabwe. <laughs> 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 I want to say thank you so much for having me. I really yeah, appreciate thank you your for time. Coming and to see us, listen, yeah. I'm, I'm now a big fan. Yeah, oh. I have subscribed, and I will make sure that each and everyone watching us today will subscribe to this channel. Th this is my new channel. <laughs> yeah, this is um, Kaya's Kaya's Gogo. -go, yeah, uh -huh. this is my new channel. Uh -huh. Subscribe. I'll be so happy to see the comments saying that what am I brought me here. 10,000 new subscribers. <laughs> Don't fail me. I love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Mwah.